Welcome to SAP SD Configuration. My name is Keith Melford and I am your instructor. In this lecture, we will cover sales area, which is a crucial part of the SD world. Sales area is actually three different fields, sales organization, distribution channel, and division. We will also configure two related fields, sales office and sales group. Let's jump into SAP to do some examples of how sales area is used. The customer master is XD03. For the entry screen of the customer master, we see the sales area and the three related fields. We can see the sales areas that this customer is extended to in this pop-out. If you want to see data associated with one of the sales areas, you can double click on a sales area here. This will fill the three fields on the entry screen and we can press the green check mark to enter the customer master. As you see there at the top, we have the sales area fields all listed and all the fields below there are dependent on what sales area you're in. I also want to point out the field sales office and sales group, which we will be configuring as well. As I click around these tabs, Almost every single one of these fields is dependent on what sales area we're in. We will learn more about these fields in future lectures. One of the main purposes of all this data is to get copied to the sales order when it gets created. So let's go navigate to a sales order so that we can see some of the data. The T code to display a sales order is VA03. I'm going to look at any random sales order. This one is sales order 5000. Click on the header button to see more information about the header fields. Here's where we see the sales area fields and the related sales office and sales group from that sales area on the customer master. Now that we've seen some examples, let's talk about what we want to configure for this lecture. If you remember, we had a company called Delicious Desserts and we have three countries, Canada, US, and Mexico. The top three fields represent the sales area in this picture. And then the bottom two fields are the extra configuration that we're gonna do. We will start with a very simple example in Canada. Sales organization represents the main group that is selling the product. And in this scenario, we're only gonna have one, Canada Main. Distribution channel represents how you're gonna get the product to the customer. For example, perhaps you want a distinction between international and domestic deliveries. My recommendation is keep it as simple as possible unless you absolutely have to have a different distribution channel. We're keeping it simple, so we're just going to configure something called standard. And the last field of the sales area is the division. Division is SAP's way of giving you one more field for you to be able to do things that are a little more complicated. However, the reality is most companies do not need this extra flexibility. In fact, there are some very large companies out there that only have one division for their entire SAP. So we're gonna do the same thing here and only have one called main. To round out our configuration, let's do a Toronto office and a sales group within there that's just the primary group. Let's go configure this in SAP. All right, here we are in the SAP home screen. To go to any configuration, use T code SPRO. Hit enter, and then click the button SAP Reference IMG. Here's the tree for all SAP configurations. We want enterprise structure, the definition for the sales and distribution. I can see we can configure for the sales organization, distribution channel, sales office, and sales group, but not for the division. That's actually up here in the logistics general area. Let's proceed with our configuration of the sales organization. Double click on define sales organization and you get to the initial screen. We will use the new entries button to create our new sales organization for Canada. Give it a four character sales organization code. It could be anything you want. We will use DCS1. And then give a little description for the users to know what the sales organization represents. We can give it a statistics currency if we want. CAD represents Canadian dollar as well as the sales organization calendar. We will use US for now, just for the demo purposes. Many of the other fields are not necessary at this time. And in fact, we will come back with configuration when we are ready in future lectures. I press return and I got a warning message for the statistics currency. This is not a big deal, it's only a warning, so I'm gonna continue on. When I press the save button at the top, 
SAP has prompted me for an address. Now for a sales organization, you really should put an address here. For this demo purposes, I'm just going to put the required field of country and continue on. SAP is requesting a transport. I'm going to use one I already created and I have completed my first sales organization. I will greeno back to the main configuration tree so that I can proceed with the distribution channel. The distribution channel is one icon down, so go ahead and enter and double click on define distribution channel. We already see a ton of entries because this is a training environment, but let's create our new entries here and the distribution channel will require a two digit code. It could be anything you want. I'm going to pick D1 and give it a little name so that the users know what this represents. Not much to it. When I press save, SAP wants a transport. I'll use the one I've been using before. And we are completed with our distribution channel. Let me just make sure it's in the list here. And yep, here it is, D1 standard. Okay, let's screen arrow back to the main configuration tree. The last field of the sales area is the division, which is up here. Double click on define division. Now remember, division is just SAP's way of giving you a little more flexibility when you're doing your sales area configuration. We wanted to keep it simple for our situation, so we're just going to use division 00 for all of our scenarios. So we have completed the configuration of the three main fields of the sales area, which is the sales organization, distribution channel, and division. Let's go ahead and do the sales office now. We had one office that we wanted to assume for the Canadian situation, which was Toronto. So let's click on new entries here. We need to give it a unique identification, up to four characters. TOR sounds like a good one for Toronto. And for the description, we will put Toronto. When I press enter, SAP gives the opportunity to enter an address for this office. You should enter it if you have it, but for the sake of time, I'm going to just enter the required country and move on. All right, let's go ahead and save this. And SAP again wants the transport. Choose the one I've been using before and we are done for the sales office. Let's just make sure that the new entry is in the list. So I'm going to scroll down to TOR and here it is, Toronto. Let's proceed with the last field of our configuration, which is the sales group. And we find that one icon down. This is intended to just be a subdivision of the sales office. So let's press new entries. For the simple scenario, we just had a primary sales group. Let's use a three character PRM to represent primary and go ahead and save. So when I save, got to give it a transport, which I'll use the same one as before. And just to make sure it's in the list, I am going to scroll down until I see the PRM. And here we go. We found our primary sales group. Okay, so we have completed the definition of all of our configurations, but now you also have to do configuration to tie them together. And that's where the assignment comes in. Drilling into the sales and distribution folder, we see all the assignments that have to be done. Start with the sign sales organization to company code. Each sales organization on the left hand side needs a company code which is in the open field. Our new sales organization of DCS1 is missing the company code and let's go ahead and put in the company code that we created before which is DC10. Once I press enter, it looks like SAP likes it all. So I'll go ahead and save this, do the transport. And we can go back to the main configuration tree to go to the next step. So let's assign the distribution channel to the sales organization. Our newly defined sales organization and distribution channel do not show up here on Macly, so let's do new entries. You can do multiple entries at once if you want, but we just had one here. We had the DCS1 for the sales organization with the D1 distribution channel. That's it for this assignment, so let's go ahead and save this. Give it the normal transport. And let's just make sure that this is showing in the list. So I'm going to look for sales organization and DCS1 and based on that we should see a D1 next to it and here we go DCS1 is related to D1 okay so let's go ahead and assign the division to the sales organization 
much like we had before, we have a whole list here, but we want to do new entries. We want to relate our new sales organization, DCS1, to Division 00. All right, looks good. Let's save. And let's go ahead and put it into the normal transport. All right, we're done with this section. To wrap it all together, now SAP wants you to set up the sales area, which is linking all three of those fields together. It's kind of redundant to what we've been doing before, but that's the way SAP does it, so that's the way we proceed. Sales organization, DCS1, distribution channel is D1, and division 00. Press return and you get a good green light. Pressing save and we have officially made our sales area. We can now proceed with assigning our sales office to our new sales area. This is going to look a lot like the setup sales area screen, except it's going to have an extra field here for the sales office. So let's go ahead and do a new entries here. Our sales organization is DCS1, distribution channel D1 with the division 00, and that whole sales area is associated with the sales office TOR. If you had not configured the sales area correctly, it wouldn't have let you do that. But everything looks good, so we're saving, and let's go back out to the main screen so that we can do the one last assignment, which is the sales group to the sales office. This is a pretty simple relationship. We will do new entries here. On the left side, we have the sales office of TOR and our primary sales group. Press enter, everything looks good. Complete this off by saving. And we have officially completed the Canadian configuration of the sales area, sales office, and sales group. Let's proceed with the Mexico scenario. We're gonna have two sales organizations, one for a supermarket and one for online. The distribution channel is gonna be the same for both, and we're gonna have the same division as well. We're gonna keep it simple with a Mexico City sales office, and the only group that we're gonna associate with it is the primary sales group. Let's go configure this in SAP. We are back in the SAP configuration tree. First thing we have to do is define the sales organization. Click on the correct icon, double click on define sales organization, and we are ready. We can copy an existing line or we can do new entries. We need to give the sales organization a unique four character designation. DMS1 is good where M stands for Mexico and we should give it a description so that the end user knows what this sales organization represents. We'll fill in the statistics currency of Mexican peso and we're still gonna use the sales organization calendar of US. When I press enter, SAP is still giving me a warning, but that's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and accept it and save. Now, like with the Canadian scenario, when I press save, it wants me to fill out an address. Technically, you should fill this out, but just to save time, I'm just going to enter in the Mexican country and move forward. Accept the normal transport that I've been using, and this one is good. So now we can proceed on to the other sales organization that we were talking about, and this time I'm going to copy. When I copy, it brings over all the fields from the previous one, so I need to change the information for this new one. So the two in the DMS2 will represent online sales organization. Hit the enter key to tell SAP to proceed. It will ask if you want to put in more information for an address. For now, we don't. And now in the list, we can see the two new Mexico sales organizations that we just created. I'm going to click save just in case I didn't save up until now. Everything looks good. Let's go back to the main configuration tree. The next step is to define the distribution channel. So I click on the icon and double click on define distribution channel. If you remember, we already configured the D1 distribution channel of standard for the Canadian scenario. Distribution channels are not country specific. So we're gonna use this for our Mexico scenario as well. Likewise, divisions can be used across countries as well. So even though we use 00 for the Canadian situation, we can use it for the Mexico one too. In fact, reusing things in SAP when it's appropriate is one of the benefits of the system. Let's assign our new sales organizations to company codes. 
Scroll down and on the left hand side we can find our DMS1 and DMS2. Let's give the company codes that we created for Mexico, which was DM10, and we'll do that for both of them. When I hit enter, SAP will validate if everything looks good, which it does, so we can proceed with saving. We do the normal routine, give it a transport, and now let's go assign our new distribution channel to the sales organizations. This is going to be exactly like our Canadian scenario, except for Mexico, we had two sales organizations. So we can enter our first one here, the DMS1, and we're going to have the distribution channel of D1. Press enter. SAP will think a little bit. Looks good. Now we do the DMS2, which is our long line, the D1 here, and we've got both of them at the same time. Like before, save, give it a transport, and we are good to go. Moving forward with assigning our division 00 to our new sales organizations. Like before, new entries. Let's give it a sales organization of DMS1 with division 00. And like before, let's save a little time and do DMS2 at this time as well. Looking good. Let's save and put it onto a transport. And we will proceed with doing the setup for the sales area. Green arrow back. Find the icon for setup sales area. And we can go ahead and do the button for the new entries. We can now tie together our new sales organization of DMS1 with the distribution channel of D1 and the division of 00. Everything looks good. Let's do the same thing for DMS2 so that we can complete all sales areas for Mexico. Everything seems correct, so let's go ahead and save, give it a transport, and move on to the next stage. All right, so let's go ahead and sign our office of Mexico City to the new sales areas. So I click here. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think we ever created our Mexico City sales office. So I think we need to go back and go into the definition phase so that we can do the sales office. It's not a big deal that this is out of order. Uh, let's go ahead and do new entries, give it a, a code, maybe MXC for Mexico City, and a description of Mexico City. I press enter, and it wants me to enter an address. I'll just make sure to do the country. You be sure to fill in the whole address if necessary. That looks good. Save, put it in the transport, and okay, we fixed that part. We now go back to the assigned sales office to the sales area. All right, we're in. Now let's do the new entries. Sales organization, DMS1, distribution channel D1, division 00, and our new office of MXC. Hit enter to have SAP do a quick validation. Looking good. So let's do the DMS2 as well. So in real life, you can do many sales areas to one office, or one sales area to many offices, or you know, any combination. There really is no restriction. Let's finalize this by assigning the sales group to the sales office. Now even though we had two sales organizations, we only need to assign the sales group to this office one time here. The reason being is this assignment has nothing to do with sales organization, it's just an assignment between the office and the sales group. Okay, I think we are done with the Mexico scenario. Let's get a little more sophisticated with the U.S. scenario. We're going to have three sales organizations, supermarket, online, and special events. All three can send through the standard distribution channel, but the supermarket also has a need to send some products through a frozen channel. In other words, some trucks that have a compartment that has a freezer. And then for division, we're just going to keep it simple and have one division for everything. The sales office for the supermarket is going to be in New York, and the sales group is going to be the primary. For the online situation, we're just going to assume we don't have a sales office and a sales group, which is legitimate. Sales office and sales group are not required fields. For the special events, we're going to have a sales office in Las Vegas, and we're going to have two sales groups for that, trade shows and fairs. All right, let's go ahead and do it in SAP. As before, we need to define our sales organizations. We start with new entries, and let's use the DUS1 to follow the same naming convention that we had before for our supermarkets. Give it a statistics currency of USD with a calendar of US. We get the same warning that we've been getting before, but no big deal. Press save. You should enter an address here, but I'm just going to do the country. 
All right, so we find it in our list here under the DUS1. And we're going to copy this one for the next online one. So we can change this to 2 and change this to online. Same song and dance for the address. Go ahead and save it. And we'll copy for the 3 as well, which is our special events. Finish this off with an address. And we have finished our sales organizations for the U.S. Let me just highlight all three of those here so that we can see it. Green arrow back to the main screen. Save one last time. And now we can go do the distribution channels. If you remember, we were using the D1 standard for the distribution channel for all of our scenarios. But now we have another one that we have to do, which is frozen. So let's go ahead and use the copy button to do this one. Let's give this one an ID of D2 with a name of frozen. And now we have both standard and frozen. So this is good for our US scenario. Let's save and go back to the main configuration tree. For our US scenario, we had two different offices. We have up to four characters to distinguish this sales office. We're going to just use NY for New York. Give it an address here. And then we will do likewise LV for Las Vegas go through the standard saving process and we have completed our US sales offices. Moving on with sales group, we can go ahead and just do new entries as usual. SAP wants up to three characters for a unique identification of the sales group. And so let's use TSH for trade show. And let's use FRS for the fares. Okay, so that's all we need for our sales groups. We can go ahead, save, do our transport, and then go back to the main tree. We don't need to create any new division, so we're going to skip that step and start assigning the sales organization information. Let's look for our three new sales organizations. And for the U.S., we had developed DU10 for the company code. Press return, SAP will validate, everything looks good. We can save this and go back to the main tree. Let's proceed with assigning the distribution channel to the sales organizations. New entries. Here we can do all of ours at once. So DUS1 for the supermarket was with the standard, but we also had that with the frozen. And now DUS2 which is online with the standard, and then finally the DUS3 with the standard as well. And that's all we need for this assignment. Go ahead and save this, and let's proceed to the next step. We assigned all of our sales orgs to division 00. So once we do the three, we can go ahead and save and get that onto a transport. We are now ready to tie together our sales areas. So for our sales org, DUS1, which is our supermarket, we're going to have both the standard and the frozen. DUS2, which is our online, is going to be just the standard. And then the DUS3 for the special events is the standard as well. Wrap that up. Go ahead and assign the office to the sales areas. Now again, this looks a lot like the definition of the sales area, except that we have that sales office off to the right. If you remember, we had sales offices associated with the supermarket and the special events, but we didn't want one for the online. And again, that is perfectly legitimate. You do not have to put entries here if it does not fit your real life scenario. Save that. Let's go back to the main tree and finish up with the assignment of the sales group to the sales office. In the US situation, we had two offices. We had the New York office, which had the main sales group of primary. And then we had the Las Vegas office that had the two sales groups, which was the trade shows. And then we had the other one, which was the fairs. We save one last time. And I think we are done with the US scenario. I think it's a good idea to go into production and see how this is working. We are now on the SAP home screen. To extend the customer, we can use T-code XD01. 
we can create an entire new customer or we're just going to take an old one and extend it to one of our sales areas. Clicking this button will get us a list of all the available sales areas. Scrolling down and we start to see some of ours near the top. Why don't we choose the special events for the US? Double clicking the line automatically populated those three fields. And pressing the green check mark would tell SAP I want to extend this customer to the sales area. Notice at the top it's designating what sales area we're in. And for the sales office when I drop this down, remember we only had one for this area, Las Vegas. If we were in our Mexico sales areas then it would be Mexico City. And if you remember we had two sales groups associated with the sales office. One was trade shows and the other one was fairs. I'm not going to go into details of all these fields at this time. But I hope you can see how our configuration can help drive some of the values within these screens. And then ultimately the values within the customer master help drive the processes within the sales and distribution flow. Well, I think we can save this customer master and consider this configuration of sales area a success. Thank you very much for your patience. I hope everything made sense. This is one of the most crucial areas within the sales and distribution module. These three fields come up over and over again. Best of luck in your configurations. My name is Keith Milford and I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video.